Okay, so welcome to our video. We're going to make a vegan curry. It's got all these different ingredients in it. I'll go through them really quickly. We've got uh, ground cumin, spoon of that, Thai style seasoning, half a spoon of that, this spoon, that is a tablespoon. Uh, uh, don't forget the beer. That's not an ingredient. Garam I don't even know why it's there. Garam masala, I think we put like two spoons of that in. Ground ginger, a spoon of that, a spoon of coriander, a spoon or so of mustard seeds. All this stuff just gets chopped up, goes in, probably not all the chilies, it depends how spicy you want it. We have a uh, sort of pinch of cloves, pinch of that, I can't pronounce it. Um, ground turmeric, I think mean, it's called star anise or something. Uh, ground turmeric, about a spoon or so of that. Can of chopped tomatoes, can of chickpeas, one big sweet, well, isn't just as much potato as you want, but yeah. Big sweet potato, two little potatoes, normal potatoes, one pepper going to be chopped up, one lemongrass, that's just enough for flavour, you don't actually cook it, sort of take it out at the end. All the lentils we've got left, how much of that spinach we decide to put in, and some coconut milk, probably the whole cauliflower, and um, some vegetable stock, which is here. So yeah, well, that's going to go in, in a minute. Right, I'm going to cut that up now, let's go. Cheers, we've prepped all of our vegetables. Now it's time to start cooking. First, this beer is very nice, magnificent beer. Right, mustard seeds, um, one spoon of those. And we'll put the hob on full power. Um, as soon as they start to snap, crackle, and pop. Then it's time to put the onions, the chilli, leek and garlic mixture. Get that fried and browning. Oh, I hear a crackling. I pop them in. Good. So the, um, I'll turn the hob down a little bit and we'll just get these browned off. Down quite nicely now. So I'm going to add the garam masala spice mixture. There we go. Put it all in. And the smell will start to rise. Lovely. The onion mixture, etc., has wilted down enough, so now it's time to okay. add in chickpeas and tomatoes. Chickpeas, tomatoes, yeah. Everything in with all the liquid. Now the tomatoes and chickpeas are in, it's time to put the vegetable stock in 250ml. And we'll put in the uh, Potatoes and peppers, sweet potatoes, potatoes, pepper mixture. Now, how much have we got there? What, 300 ml? About 300. 300 ml of coconut milk. And then we'll add in the, the second spice mixture, the turmeric mixture. Now, one thing to be very careful with turmeric, it stains everything. So if you've got a white worktop like this, be careful. Unless you don't care about the worktop. Unless you don't care about your worktop, absolutely. You can spilling it everywhere. Everything will go yellow. Including your fingers. We have some leftover lentils, so we're going to stick those in. Mix those in as well. Why not? Indeed. Put in whatever you want, basically. Delicious. Unless it's not delicious. Unless it's not delicious. I'm going to sort of bash the lemongrass, make sure all the flavours sort of can easily soak out into the curry. Scary. Bash. In it goes. Give it a little stir. And now it's time to pop the lid on and leave that for probably. 20 minutes or so before the next stage. I put some coriander on the top. Looking like the next stage of uh, 
additions as needed. So that will be a cauliflower. Didn't want to put it in too soon because um, it would uh, potentially just disappear. So the curry's had about half an hour before we put the cauliflower in, cooking away. And we give it about another 10 minutes or so. Um, then I'm going to um, think about adding the spinach and getting the uh, rice on. So um, I'm also cooking the rice with uh, lemon grass, give it a bit of extra flavour. So time to relax with the beer. Final stage of cooking. First, let's get the rice uh, boiling. So the rice is on, now for the spinach. So I'm basically uh, carry a quick stir and we'll get the uh, whole bag of spinach. Doesn't look like it will fit, but it will, but believe me, it will wilt down in no time. So that's 260 grams of spinach. You don't have to use that much, but it, it, well, it's very healthy, isn't it, spinach? So I'll get the lid on. That will soon wilt down and be, uh, the rice is going well. Let's turn that down to a gentle simmer. And we'll try 25 minutes. Just three or four minutes, the spinach has really wilted down. So, um, a little stir, brilliant. 20 minute minutes and it'll be ready to eat. It's ready. Let's have a look at uh, what it... The rice is pretty much there and the curry is definitely there. Let's get it dished up and see what it's like. Well, this is our finished curry. Lots left to... Uh, to save for another day. I think about eight portions here, so two portions plated up and ready for our dinner. Follow the curry recipe below and I hope you enjoy one of these too.